What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's always a huge, huge thanks for coming back. So today we're gonna to be working on the crew cap OBS. I'm gonna try and uh, fix the uh, door and uh, I guess let me show you what's wrong. Okay guys, so don't laugh at me and don't judge me, but for the past couple of months, I've been having to do this to open my truck. So yes, even though I make the parts to fix this door for the last couple of months, even longer than that, I've been having to reach on the outside of my truck and open it from the outside. And that's honestly because I really haven't had the time to uh, fix this. And uh, two, because I don't think it's actually the door that's broken. Like I don't think it's tore where it would usually usually be tore uh, because this thing still functions like properly. It feels solid. Well, when that's broken, a lot of times it feels kind of loose. So I don't think it's that. I really think that it's something with the mechanism that um, isn't working. So maybe the cable's stretched or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's actually pretty easy to take off these doors. Um, you've got one screw here, one screw there, right there. And then you got like uh, four or five at the bottom of the door. And then a whole bunch of clips on the inside. And uh, it's always good if you lock the door because you have to pull it up and out. And kind of get it out through this uh, handle. Uh, but it's really not that big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead, get this thing removed, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, as you can see we got the actual door, um, oh, I forgot what this is called, anyways, we got this thing out, and none of the actual clips that are supposed to be holding this thing were actually holding it, that one is snapped, those two weren't holding it, that one's broken at the actual base, which sucks, and then those, that one's gone, that one wasn't holding anything, we're actually going to be doing a pretty cool mod to this door that I haven't seen done um, elsewhere that I think is pretty cool, I already did it to that other door and I'll show you later. Um, but anyways, we got that thing out, nothing else broke. As you can see, someone's actually been in this door before because you can tell that they took that plastic off of this thing, which it's not really no big deal. But anyways, um, what I suspected was right, this cable is going to be really hard to see, but there's supposed to be a cable that goes from here to this mechanism. And as you can see, it, it is broken. It's completely snapped. There's nothing holding that in. So I'm going to go ahead order this part and uh hopefully it'll come in in time uh, in the meantime let me show you the mod that i'm talking about and that other door so usually with these doors um all the little screws that hold it in place they end up coming loose um and then the clips as you saw with my other door panel they um uh, if someone's been in them they end up breaking them and not replacing them um basically the point of the story is that these things always end up uh getting loose and the fix that i came up for this side is It'll basically have it nice and solid. Like this door is is solid. The only thing that's broken is this thing, but that's the actual rail behind it that's uh, broken that I, I still gotta fix. Uh, but basically, what I did is I end up I ended up installing these little Allen head uh, bolts and then using blue Loctite on them. And I've had I did this fix definitely sometime last year, and it has been solid. Like these things have been super super solid. I'm super happy with it. Like I said, on that door, pretty much. It had like I think two screws left on it holding it, and then like another couple of um, of those uh, Christmas tree pins holding it in place. So definitely not a lot left, a lot of support left on that thing. And I basically used these uh, rib nuts, and like I said, just these actually not these ones, um, these Allen head um, screws and some washers. And like I said, it's been working super nice, super solid. I'm really really happy uh, with that mod. So like I said, we're gonna end up doing that to this door as well all right guys so i jumped on the good old amazon here and i think i found the part that we're looking for which should be this little cable and 23 bucks and it's supposed to get here on monday i mean what else can you ask for uh so i'm gonna go ahead get this thing ordered up and we will install it on monday meanwhile i think i'm gonna do that mod to the driver's side door and uh install those little allen head uh, bolts in there to get that nice and secure. Okay, so I actually did a little more searching and I ended up finding this other seller that has the two cables. So, I mean, I believe they're universal left and right, but it comes with two, has a two pack 
for 19 bucks still gets here on monday so we'll have either another spare in case the one this one breaks again or we'll have the one for the other side in case you know it also breaks so we're gonna go ahead and actually order this one up and of course i'll leave you guys a link to it down below if you want to get this um i mean i think it should be fine uh, i believe if ford still makes this cable it's probably over 100 bucks i can almost guarantee you that um and like i said for 20 bucks you get two of them you know i'm, I'm cool with that i'm sure it'll last at least long enough to make it worth it so i'm gonna go ahead and get that uh that one okay guys so i've got everything that i need uh to install this rib nuts so i've got uh my drill bit which is a little bit undersized but i think if i kind of walk it a little bit it'll make it just big enough to be able to snugly put those in and then obviously we've got our rib nuts which i believe these are our four mil rib nuts and our rib nut tool this thing i freaking love this tool um, I highly, highly recommend you guys get one of these. It can come in so handy for so many different things. So again, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description as well as the uh, rib nuts that I used. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and install one of these things. As you can see, I already did a test just to make sure that I had everything right and um, I think we do. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and drill. Uh, so basically on the bottom of your, of your door and the inside, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five uh, holes. That's where your uh, screws go. If you already took the uh, door panel off and everything was still on there that's you know what they are and basically what i do is i just go where the hole is try to be as square and centered on it and centered on it as i can like that and just drill it out and hopefully that should fit that's pretty much a perfect fit and i'm using a quarter inch uh drill bit for these four mil rib nuts so the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and uh, install your rib nut on your rib nut, rib nut tool. Okay guys, so hopefully the wind isn't too freaking crazy, but we've got all of those rib nuts um, on the door. And then we also went ahead and just kind of slightly cleaned the door because, you know, we're already here, so might as well. Okay, so we've got the uh, door panel back on. And uh, one of the first things that I like doing is getting all the electrical um, kind of in place. So this little light bulb and then feed this through the other side of the... Um, door and i think that's something that i forgot to mention when i was taking it off the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take off the little switch panel if you have if you have uh, electric windows take off this panel which is just uh, one screw here at the bottom and then it just kind of pulls up now be careful because you don't want to break this plastic it's always pretty brittle and then just pull it out and this switch will have three screws on the back of it just take those off and then feed this in when you're taking it off when you're putting it on it's obviously the opposite just feed it through this side hook up that light and you'll be good so now with these things that i'm doing installing the a pillar one is actually a little bit extra long um the rest of them i'm using this these ones are a bit sure about i don't know three quarters of an inch long if that <clears throat> this one's about an inch inch and a quarter and again once i do this permanently i'll use a little bit of blue loctite on these things uh, but for now because i know that i'm going to be taking this off on monday or tuesday i'll just use these screws by themselves and the way that i like doing it is i like screwing them all in uh, just until I catch a few threads and then once I know that they are they're all screwed in just a few threads in then I'll go and tie them up all of them uh, but that's just because I like you know leaving a little bit of a wiggle room on the panel until they're all until they're all in okay guys and just like that we get this thing back in place we've got all of our screws um, pretty tight um, I definitely still wouldn't go super crazy with those things on um, getting them tight because you could still crack this plastic but you can definitely get them snug plus like i said wow well, once you do the fine like once i do the final install with the loctite the blue loctite should hold it in place you know so you don't have to like get it super tight just get it snug and then just a little bit more and that'll be fine and like i said i didn't use those clips and it's still like pretty solid just right here where the clips aren't you know in place you could see a little bit of jiggling but you know they're pretty solid for now uh, but yeah, that's that. But anyways, for me, that's going to be it for today. For you, it's just going to be a couple of seconds. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump to that. Okay, guys, so it's a couple of days later. Um, actually, about a week later. <laughs> and we've got everything that we need to finish this job. So uh, let me show you everything that I got. So we've got our um, door cable. And like I said, it's really nothing fancy, just this cable. And we've got two of them. And like I said, they're pretty cheap and, you know, I think, I think they'll last just fine. And even if it fails again, we have another backup or we have another one for the passenger side, which I think the passenger, passenger side should be fine because it doesn't get used hardly at all. And then we've got a metal door handle. I love this upgrade over your plastic door handles. Um, it's really not that much more expensive and it feels just way better. Um, I'll leave a link to all of this down below. Um, 
and then we have my door reinforcement plate that even though uh the area is not broken and i'll show you kind of where it breaks um just because we're already in there i think it's a great upgrade to, to go ahead and just throw it in there because um with these trucks it's not a matter of if it's gonna break it's a matter of when it's gonna break and while we're in there we're just like i said we're just gonna go ahead and throw this in um and this is basically everything it comes with it comes with your plate your rivets and your hardware um so everything's included it's a super simple install um but yeah and then we got this tool that i think is very very important these things are pretty cool i've been wanting with this for a while now and this was the perfect job to get me one and i'll basically show you how to use it here in a little bit um but it's not necessary but again it should make you drop your life hopefully uh, a lot easier and again i'll leave a link to all of the stuff down below these three things you can get on amazon i'll leave the link to that and i'll leave a link to my website where you can get these right here so anyways let's go ahead and uh, install these okay guys so we've got the uh, door panel back off again and um like i said uh, we our cable broke right there um the other end of that little cable should have gone in there and it, like i said it's just completely broken and the other end of this thing we'll see if i can show you but so that's the cable and basically that's where it goes in there you can change this thing with uh, the mechanism still being in there but it's just a lot easier uh, removing it and having it a little bit closer to be able to get it off so that's kind of where this little tool comes into play because these things are actually kind of soft so you want a tool like this to be able to get them off or at least if you get a uh, screwdriver get one that fits in there pretty snug like this one that came with the kit is a ph3 and it fits pretty snug in there so i think if you at least get a screwdriver that's that size you should be pretty good but anyways let me see if i can show you how to use this thing okay so with this thing we've got right and left and the way you use it is just by pushing down and rotating it so now we have it on the l and we're gonna go ahead and place it on our screw and tap it pretty firmly okay so apparently righty tight and lefty loosey are backwards on this thing so to loosen you want to put it on the r if you get this tool so like i said you go ahead and insert it into focus <laughs> but insert it into the uh screw that you're trying to get out and then just and there we go that loosened it i think that's how you use that thing i've never used one of these things but i knew about them and i thought they were pretty cool and as you can see we're able to loosen all three of these without stripping them out so that's always a plus and we're also going to loosen this uh screw i believe we have to yeah i think so just to kind of be able to get this whole mechanism out here okay guys so we got the door mechanism out of this little thing right there and we've got it right here and basically this cable right here is the one that we're trying to get out so to get it out first we gotta get it out of this little socket this little holding thing which is kind of like that so all we should do is have to push it in towards us and it should pop out oh also um our window is rolled up uh it'll give you a lot more space uh that way okay guys so i got myself a pair of uh channel locks and i think this should get it out pretty easy so let me see there we go that definitely is the easiest way to do it so now all we gotta do is try and get um let me get this spring at the way first okay and now this thing should be able to freaking wiggle this thing out of there yep it's coming out okay guys so we got um our old cable out and we have our new cable ready to go in place um getting this thing out of the little socket really wasn't that hard you just have to kind of you know follow that little shape a little like s shape that it has or whatever but anyways we have the new cable in i did loop it up a little bit on the edges with some grease i'm gonna go ahead and get this installed on this side first we're basically doing this whole thing in reverse so sorry if i'm doing a bad job of showing you guys what to do but it's a little hard but yeah it's a little hard to uh film and work in this little tight space okay guys you're kind of in the way a little bit too much so i'm gonna have to move you and uh it's really not that hard to put it in it's just you guys are in the way so i'm sorry all right guys so as you can see we've got this cable back in place we've got the little spring and everything back in there too so i'm gonna go ahead and get this whole side of the mechanism put back in its place and then we'll finish this up with this side of the install and i'm just using an 8 mil socket on my impact to get that out there we go and there we go this whole thing's out now as you can see we got this little spring clip i forgot what the heck these things are called but let me take that out of the way okay guys so now with the uh with the actual door 
uh, handle mechanism out of the way. You can see how, hopefully you can see pretty well, but this, uh, the part where the uh, screw bolted to, you can see it's pretty fatigued and it was right about ready to crack. And basically the reason why that happened is because before this thing broke, it was stretched and it required a lot more force and movement up to be able to open the door. And if this cable hadn't actually broken, this thing would have completely broken. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have just, it wouldn't have just gotten fatigued. It would have actually completely broken. So now what my plate does is it basically reinforces this whole area and adds another thicker layer of metal to this thing so that it, it'll basically never ever break again. And we don't just do that. We actually also include this bigger nut that will essentially spread the load over a bigger area. That way it'll actually have even less of a chance of tearing um that material but anyways uh hopefully that kind of explains why these door latches always fail and uh it's, it's pretty simple to tell when it's the actual door and when it's the latch um when it's when it's the actual door your door handle will feel super super loose and wobbly and just not solid at all that's a good indicator that is the actual door that fatigued and failed um when your door handle still feels pretty solid, more than likely it was your cable that either broke or stretched too far or anything like that. Um, at that point, I would order the cable that I ordered. And like I said, not trying to be too much of a salesman, but I would also get the uh, plate because as you, saw, as you saw, our door was already pretty fatigued. And like I said, it's not a matter of if it's gonna happen with these strokes, it's a matter of when. Like I said, uh, it's just a good idea to go ahead and pick it up because you're gonna be in the door anyways and it doesn't really take that much longer. So anyways, let's go ahead and install it so, we can, so you can see the actual install process. Okay guys, so hopefully you can see fairly well what it is that I'm doing right here, but I've got a uh, Sharpie and I've got my plate. And what I like doing is go ahead and lining it up pretty good to where all of these holes line up. And as you can see, they, li they line up uh, perfectly right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark just one hole. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. And then I'm gonna take a punch and just punch that uh, that mark. There we go. And then I got an eighth inch drill bit. Okay, so now once you have that first one in, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and line this thing up perfectly. Get your uh, rivet gun and go ahead and rivet that in place. And again, it's really important that you have this as squared up as possible in here. So I'm gonna go ahead uh do that do the rest of the holes and then we'll come back and we'll pretty much be done with this install okay guys and so we've got our uh door latch mechanism back on the door uh, as you can see the plate fits perfectly in there uh there's really nothing in the way and you know everything looks good we also got our new uh metal door handle on again highly highly recommend this upgrade but yeah pretty happy with that this is the rivet gun that i have um highly highly recommend it i'll leave it down in the uh, description as well so now that the uh, last couple of things that we have left is to actually connect this thing back up so i'm gonna go ahead and try and do this with one hand that's nah, not gonna happen oh we still have the old one in there there we go get the old one out and this one should go in kind of the same way there we go and boom there we go that feels good i'm pretty happy with that okay guys that pretty much completes this whole install the only thing left to do is really shut the door and test it to make sure that everything works properly um everything's good you're good to go put the panel uh back on and you'll be good so i'm gonna go ahead and uh do that right now okay so i was putting everything back together and i was having a little bit a little bit of a problem lining up this uh bolt hole which would be that one so what i did is i because essentially what was happening is this thing was kind of crooked looking kind of this way so i threaded in one of the uh screws and i hit it that way just a little bit to get it straight um so you might have to do that and make sure that you thread it in all the way that it gets all the threads that way you don't mess up the ones in there and again, again like i said uh, you it might be different in yours you might have to check to see if you have to do that or not uh, but that's how i fixed that on mine okay guys and just like that we are done and excuse me if i look all gross and nasty and sweaty that's just because it's hot and humid today but anyways check this out it is fixed and it feels super solid okay guys and just like that we are done with this uh project and like i said just little by little trying to knock out projects on the uh, crew cab and uh, you know, slowly we'll really build that thing up. Uh, but anyways, 
Like I said, I'll leave links to everything down below. I'm actually gonna try and make a cart in Amazon. That way you just click on one link and everything that I use in this video, minus my uh, plates, will be on there. So you get my plates, check out Blowing Diesel. We've got the door reinforcement plates, we've got bumper brackets, we've got the axle swap kit on the website, so make sure you go and check it out.